one aspect of the healing journey that is absolutely critical is trust in the process, trust in life. Because no matter how much healing you do, no matter how awake you get, if there isn't that trust there, there's still going to be this fundamental fear and this fundamental struggle going on, right? I realized the other day that I was just feeling into these parts of me that were still scared of life, feeling that life is against me. It's something I need to, to do battle with and combat and overcome and so on. And that's certainly the place that I used to come from, feeling that life is... I used to be uh, in this <laughs> very sort of alcoholic, nihilistic state where I thought it's like God was just this evil bastard and that life was, was awful and, and should not be. And that the best thing to do was just to keep your head down and try and just like struggle through it. But actually a key characteristic of a place, the, of any place I would want to end up would be a place where you're, you're trusting in life in the process so you can let go, so you can relax, so you can surrender. And all of that letting go, you know, and uh, how good would that be if you could truly relax and surrender into life, knowing that you could trust it, right? You can see, you can feel how juicy that is, how, mm, how warm and wonderful that feels. But easier said than done. Right. What I find helpful here is, is noticing the patterns, the sort of the hidden natural laws that exist um, beyond physics and, and chemistry and biology and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'd like to introduce an idea here, what I call cosmic squeezing. <laughs> so this is, the, this is like the, the rhyme and rhythm of the challenges and experiences that the universe subjects us to, right? There's a kind of a, 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 a hidden or not so hidden logic. And it's not so, it's, it's sort of hidden at the beginning and over time as it unfolds, it becomes clearer and clearer what's going on. So let me explain what I mean by this quickly. The cosmic squeezing is like this, this contraction and expansion of our being where for periods of time we are, we are contracted, we are put through the cosmic mangle, so to speak, subjected to various challenges. And as we're able to meet them, we metabolize and integrate those, then there's a brief <laughs> expansion as we're given like a period of rest to sort of recuperate and integrate, right? And then that, and then the contraction comes back. So it's sort of that squeezing happens again and then it relaxes again. And what's happening is as, as we're going through the squeezing and the contraction, this is like helping us work through aspects of our conditioning. And in the expansion, we're able then to integrate that. There's space for the nervous system to repattern and reprogram, right? And it's through that contraction and expansion that um, transformation is born. That's kind of the, the, the engine of transformation, is this contraction and expansion, this cosmic squeezing. And importantly, this happens at many levels simultaneously. So there's kind of like macro squeezing. So this might be over a period of years, you go into one big squeeze. Like for example, you know, I was an alcoholic for many years. That was a macro squeeze, <laughs> you could say, right? It felt like this years of endless being, endlessly being squeezed. And of course there were little ex moments of expansion in them, notably when I drank, right? There was this, ah, that was kind of the relief I needed to get through the day, but it was simultaneously also the, the, the movement of that contraction. And then you can get those micro squeezes where just like for a period of a few hours or a few days, you might get some, some really challenging experiences, right? Where you just, you just feel something's going on in your nervous system. You're just being met with all these difficult, uh, difficult or presented with all these difficult scenarios to navigate. And so you can have many micro squeezes throughout the day or throughout a week or throughout a month as you go in and out of these broader macro squeezes. And at the beginning, you know, it, it tends to be a bit harder to discern this pattern uh, towards the beginning of your journey. Like when I was an alcoholic, I would never have thought I was just anyone who would have said that, you know, what's going on is part of some larger pattern of blah, 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 blah. I would have just uh, punched him in the face and then gone to the nearest pub. And probably quite rightly so. <laughs> but 
it's true that if you hold on and wait, uh, you can you can spot this pattern occurring. And you can hear other people's experiences of it too. And it's it's and as you start to see these patterns and understand the how, how this contraction expansion process is, is cosmic squeezing, you can kind of start to put a bit more trust in in this process, right? Because you see that each time you you make it, or if you have the you know, if you're, you find within you some, some willingness to turn towards some part of that squeeze, that contraction. And this is almost like a capacity or, uh, that you can develop over time is, is to be able to, to identify it and lean into these, these bouts of cosmic squeezing. And then it becomes more of a bit of a dance. It's still, still very challenging, can be very painful. But you kind of understand it's not just random chaos and suffering. There's like a rhyme and a reason to what's occurring. That you can that you can feel and each time this happens and you're aware of it it sort of just creates that little bit more trust in the process right and it's just just noticing and just staying with it just feel just as you notice it happening again and again and again and again and again and again and again slowly that trust starts to build just come down to the sea to talk about this it's very nice isn't it <laughs> And often the more intense the contraction, the more freeing the expansion. And the more directly we can meet that contraction as well, the more sort of permanent and more deeply integrated those expansions come. So that's in a sense the, the that path to freedom is, is precisely riding the wave of the contraction and expansion, the cosmic squeezing. And then what fuels our ability to do that and to let go into it is that trust in the process which comes from that that be able to see that that's what's occurring because that's part of what we want at a very very deep level is to be able to trust life almost you know whatever happens like there's some trust that it's somehow appropriate for the best even though on a high level and even though i want to reiterate or just iterate, in fact, because I haven't iterated it yet, so it's not really a reiteration, that these things can exist on two levels at once. So a cosmic squeeze, a very painful contraction, can, from some sort of a, the broader perspective, uh, be seen to be helpful for your journey. While at the same time, at that shorter-term human perspective, it can be totally shitty and awful, and sh you know, things that just shouldn't happen, happen. And so this is not to sort of uh, sugarcoat everything. Oh, everything, you know, love and light, all that bullshit. No, at a human level, some things happen that are just fucking shitty and painful. I don't want to gloss over that. And we can treat them as such as well. It's just that when we zoom out large enough over years and decades, perhaps lifetimes, we see the... <laughs> we can just recontextualize some of these events as part of a as as threads in part of a larger tapestry that that does have some some intelligence and kindness to it it's a kind of a savage kindness cruel to be kind but kindness nevertheless cool i think i'm done goodbye from me and the seagulls <sighs> peace out